I'm hunting in the 831 zone. This is a specialty zone in Southern California. So that means you have to get drawn for it. It's archery only, but it's either sex. So you could shoot a doe or a buck and it goes all the way through the end of December. And that means you can hunt during the rut, which almost never happens in California. So that's now, this is Thanksgiving week and I have a whole week to hunt. I have been here for just really one day. I hunted yesterday and to be honest with you, I'm already discouraged. These mountains are huge. I mean, not necessarily huge. They're only about, uh, I don't know, 3,000, 3,200 feet elevation down to about 1,500, but they are super steep. I mean, it's a climb like this. So a friend of mine who lives here and he hunts this zone often and he gave me a couple of spots to hunt. He has seen deer there and everything. So yesterday I went to one of them and I was like, how do you actually climb this? I mean, you have the road and then you have the mountain like that. And I was like, there's no way, just absolutely no way you could, you could climb it. And I just drove up and down and I said, there is no way. And that's supposed to be the better spot. So I was like, okay, let's check out the other one. So the other one that it had one area that you could climb up, but it was like this. And it was so hard. I mean, climbing it is one thing, but carrying a pretty heavy backpack and your your bow, it was hard. But I made it up there almost to the top. And um, I was like, well, this is a little bit discouraging. And I found an area, I mean, I was surrounded by bushes, so it was very little visibility. As soon as I start glassing, there was a doe bedded down in front of me facing me about 150 yards she was just sitting there I'm pretty sure she saw me she was looking at me um, other than that I didn't see anything and I was out there for about half a day and I was thinking like how am I even gonna see anything I do have a caller that sends out the sound of a doe that's in um, in heat I used it a couple of times I mean it's not like I was waiting for a whole herd of um, bucks running in but nothing happened and i was just like man i don't i don't even know about this place it was it was just it was discouraging i mean it's so steep it's so crazy so i drove down found some cell phone service and um i messaged my friend and i was like how are you even getting in there and what's going on like how do you hunt this area i don't know how to do it and he said well yeah that's why there were lots of deer because there aren't many people that want to do it like this so i was like okay thanks that's very helpful so i spent the rest of the day going back to the first area and actually i found a spot where i can get in i can't quite get to the area where he marked it as where the deer are but i'm pretty sure the deer are everywhere but i can actually hike in without killing myself um quite some ways and then maybe hike up a little more i mean we'll see what's going on once we're there <coughs> but but even then once i'm there it's it's so steep it's just it's crazy so i don't know i don't know how it's going to happen but i am hunting during the rut and i have the chance of getting either a buck or a doe so I feel like I definitely can go home empty-handed. So this is already very stressful. <laughs> we already had breakfast. I have the dog with me. I didn't want to leave her at home. Um, we'll see how she behaves, but she's been pretty good. She, she came with me to hunt a lot of times now, and she's overall pretty good. So we're going to just pack up and head out there and see what I can see. So basically this is a riverbed with just some very little water flowing on the bottom and it wasn't hard to get in it was relatively flat 
and we made some ways in it wasn't too far but it was kind of okay but as you could see on both sides it's just the steep mountain and so we're back to where we were before and at one point i just couldn't go any further it was just steep everywhere so we decided to just sit you know me and the dog <laughs> made the decision to just kind of sit down and and wait and see if anything is starting to move but this is not the place to hunt you actually need to climb up and keep going and going and going about i think 400 feet higher on these steep mountains as you could see that part right there that's just the first level after that you need to keep going more and more and i once again felt totally overwhelmed and discouraged thinking if anything ever happens to me here nobody would find me so after a few hours we walked back out i drove down once again to talk to my friend i basically made the decision that this was it i was going home the next day but he told me this is really the place i just need to just climb up he said just take your time take as long as you need to go slow keep going and when you get to the top that's where the deer will be and i remembered that when you first start walking there is an area that doesn't seem as steep as the others i mean that is the easiest out of all of them that might give me a chance to actually just start climbing up and and see what happens later so i decided that okay tomorrow morning i'm going to stay a little more and we're going to come out here and even if it takes me forever we are going to climb this mountain because he told me that is where the deer are so that is the plan for tomorrow i am kind of burnt out to be honest with you I've been hunting almost nonstop since July, and that's no joke. Uh, July, the A zone opened. Um, I have an archery tag, so I hunted there for about a week, and um, and then in August, archery season started in D seven, so I hunted that the whole time. I mean, I'm talking every weekend, and camping sometimes just driving out because I found some areas where. Um, I'm kind of close to home, just an hour away, but I've hunted every weekend. And then of course we went into rifle season and I've hunted that. And I had some friends show me some pretty cool spots. I mean, they showed me where the migration trail is and, uh, and I saw it. I mean, I saw all the prints and everything and not really the deer. We even had a storm where it started snowing a little bit. Um, I was like, okay, this would be enough to push at least some of them down and I guess it really wasn't so this seven season has come to an end so this was now July August September and October and then after that two more weeks and here I am hunting so I have been hunting for like five months and and it's, it's discouraging and overwhelming when you don't have anything to show for it so um that's where I am right now. I know it sounds a little negative, but that's just how I feel. And I haven't actually made a lot of videos. Well, I haven't made any videos for like over a month or even two months. I haven't even really been that active on social media, like on Instagram. And it's not because I've been sitting at home. I've been out there camping and hunting and hiking and just doing all these outdoors and stuff that I love but i just didn't even have the motivation to like take a picture and post it or do a video and post it um i just feel like i don't know like i said it's just the feeling of burning out when i was hunting in the d7 i actually started making a video and and then you know i expected like okay i'm gonna see a lot of deer this might be the one when i actually get one and then nothing happened and i was like I don't want to make another video where I'm like, hey, here I am, I'm hunting, I got no deer. <laughs> so, so this is what's going on, but um, I am enjoying myself. Well, 
this is it this is my only try today is Wednesday and I am going home tomorrow because if I do get a deer then obviously I'm going home but if I don't then <clears throat> I have tried everything if I don't see any deer up there then I don't think I'm gonna see any tomorrow or the following day um, or whatever so I just I just kind of decided I'm gonna give it one last try so we are already packed up and here we go This is not even one tenth of how much I have to climb. And all I can think about is coming back down. If I do get a deer, I feel like it's worth the trouble, but I think it would be impossible. So I will admit my failure. And that's it. I guess I gotta climb back down. That would be a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Climbing down often is harder than going up. If I got up there, that would be, yeah, not even one tenth of what I have to go. Oh. This would be a pain in the ass to get down. I don't even know how to get down there. Well, I couldn't do it. I am totally, totally bummed out. But I always say, better be safe than sorry. And this is one of those situations. I would say this is probably the most uh, difficult and most dangerous area I have ever hiked and in the end I think it just was not worth it um, people often say that I'm crazy and irresponsible for hunting and and hiking alone but I don't think I'm irresponsible because I'm always very careful and I always listen to my gut instincts and this was one of those um, I mean this was the easiest route up there that I found and it was already so hard and I kept thinking this is barely any any way that I have made and and I, I kept thinking this is just a little teeny tiny part of the whole thing I have to do and it's already so difficult and it's just gonna get even worse so I had to turn around but you know I'm by myself and there's no cell phone service here my daughter knows where I'm camping but that's 20 minutes from where I was hiking and my friend that gave me this spot he knew I was going back out there I mean he's the one who talked me into trying and he said he was going to come and try to find me today but how would he know exactly which area I climbed in I mean that could be a million places and and in a place like this I mean you can easily twist your ankle the chances of that is always there when you're hiking and in a place like this, the chances dramatically increase. And 
I could twist my ankle. I could fall down. I mean, that was really hard. And I could always imagine, you know, a rock rolling out from under me. I'm holding on to something and it moves, slipping on the grass. It was just <laughs> a million ways to get hurt. And I could be rolling down that hill, hitting my head in something, breaking my back. <laughs> I mean, I'm, maybe I'm being overdramatic, but really you have to think about the possibilities and this could have happened and no one will know where I am. I can't call anyone, no cell phone service, like I said, and I'm in camouflage. So how would they even find me with a helicopter? And I could be laying under a bush somewhere in pain, unable to move and thinking, man, I should have listened. I should have listened to myself. I knew it. And I went anyways. So, so I am bummed out, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not, I may have just saved myself from a lot of trouble. So, um, honestly, I can't really imagine why would they have a zone like this, a special draw. It is difficult. <laughs> you would think it would be easier, but I wish we had a, um, you know, season like this in V7, I would know exactly where to go, but Whatever. I mean, it is just what it is. I know that I told you that I didn't want to make another video where I'm saying, here I am hunting, but I got no deer. So this is another video like that. <laughs> and that is it. I mean, this was still nice. It was beautiful mountains and, you know, spent some time alone away from everything with my dog. So this is the end of this very adventurous video. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys hopefully soon um, turkey season is happening right now so I will be going turkey hunting any chances I get so hopefully I get to make some videos and hopefully I will have a turkey in it in my hands so, so once again thank you for watching I'll see you next time